Hello and welcome to that Downtown Podcast. I'm here today, Gary Allen, Managing Director at Stardew, and I'm here with Lottie and George as well. Both specialise in downtown and we're here today to bring you this podcast to give you all of the updates of everything that's going to be going on in your community. So Lottie, I'm going to start with yourself. Okay, What's go. going on at the moment in downtown? In downtown, it's such a busy, busy period of time at the minute. Obviously, we've got so many buildings that are handing over that we've yeah. been waiting for for quite a while. You okay. know, a, little, a few delays have happened. So at the minute, downtown's just got this buzz because there's so many buildings that are you know, opening their doors. Yeah, what buildings are about to hand over? Or so handing we've over got Burj Royale has just handed over, still yeah. kind of in the process. Me and George um, went to that building, really yeah. nice. Very yeah, nice. lovely. You really specialise nice. in downtown. Is that one of the nicest buildings in downtown at the minute? Front side, front side views on the building are- Can't beat it. Can't be, you've got all the low rise buildings, perfect. It's just EMAR now sacrificing size for quantity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we're seeing a lot in the area, so. Yeah. yeah. What uh, would that rent for, let's say, a two bedroom in there, and what would it sell for? You're looking around about 180k to somewhere up for 200k uh, for the front facing, uh, higher floors. Comes as no surprise to me that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Obviously, s- selling prices a month ago were completely different to what they are now. Yeah. They were two, six, now they're three. Really? Million yeah. to sell. So you'll never get a true read on what it is, but it's more more tools of three million size. I think it's as soon as things, you know, you can actually get the keys to them, the price yeah. shoots up. Like, yeah, such a it's like difference. it's handover though, isn't it? In Dubai, once the project is about to hand yeah. over, people can start buying with a mortgage. Exactly. Secondary yeah. market, 60 70 yeah. percent of people must be buying with a mortgage at the moment. So, you just get all of them buyers, yeah, exactly. the, the, really the demand it can literally yeah. triple, can't it? And you know, yourself, when it's family member or friends move into a building, everyone in Dubai is like a magpie, aren't nice they? Just it, yeah. look for the next shiniest project. <laughs> yeah. Seeing quite a common theme as well, people with their properties there not even because of the premium they're getting on the properties, they're not yeah. even paying the handover fee because they know yeah. so much of yeah, the premium, they don't even yeah. need to yeah. pay it to, to yeah. get the premium it's because you're It's just the return on yeah. investments. If they're exactly. like 40% paid, they've got a 10, 20% payment coming up, they've only put in 40% exactly. of the equity. Yeah. It just, yeah, as exactly. you say, yeah. spikes that return on investment, which is great. Two other buildings that are coming up at the moment. Um, so we've got Act 1, Act 2, yeah. which I actually went for the first time the other day when I was filming there. Are they in the opera? Yeah, so yeah. they what are... What do they look like? So it's, it's just two buildings kind of next are to each other. Are they the black ones or is that the address opera? No, that's the address opera. Ah, right, They're okay. just two nice buildings. They're next to Opera Grand. Okay, yeah. And then you kind of, there's a, a walkway through them and yeah. there's the Burj Khalifa. It looks beautiful. We really, really nice, that opera district there. Honestly gorgeous, yeah. yeah that's one of my Holly's favourite date mates going on the opera. I can't blame you, honestly. Yeah. But that also reflects in the price per square foot. It is a little bit more expensive than the rest of the boulevard. Is it? Yeah. So the Opera District is sort of like a little market on its own. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the address Opera coming up as well. Yeah, exactly. And I think the more that that builds up, that, that proves that it should be the price it is. Yeah. And also when that's built as well, there's no more construction. So that's yeah, the closest exactly. thing to it. It's only behind it, you've got like the boulevard heights, but them kind of buildings, but can't build in front of it because you're basically on the fountain. Yeah. yeah. The construction quite intense in the Opera District, I think. It is, it yeah. Definitely, it's not, not as much now, but it was Not as know, much now, but it's still is two, yeah, three yeah, buildings that haven't even handed over. Some of them don't even, well, two of them don't even look like they're going to be ready yeah. in the next couple, yeah, yeah. two to six months. I yeah. think when Il Primo hands over, especially, that is when that part of the downtown is going to surge because yeah. it's going to be such a nice clientele. Yeah. You know, four floors, half floors. Yeah. I think that's when it will reach. Yeah. When we went to the Iftar the other day, I sat before we had Iftar and had a couple of beers. And uh, it's just amazing. It's the, probably the sexiest area in the oh, area. It well, it is yeah. the sexiest area yeah. in the whole of Dubai, I'm isn't sure. it? Yeah, uh, it, it's amazing. I worked there five years ago and it didn't look anything like it does now. <laughs> I think every project at the launching as well, don't get me wrong, the plots are you typically on the outskirts of downtown, mm. but all of the projects, I think they've just launched that back of that residences yeah, and 14,000 did them a square foot. They just sold one, I think. I saw that, I saw the article and I was like, it's amazing. Yeah, Obviously yeah. we've got the W that's being launched, Yeah. the back of that, it's so many nice branded residences yeah. that are just going to take Dubai uh, downtown yeah. to next level yeah, exactly yeah nice um so price per square foot on average what would we say downtown is at the moment if you're looking on new buildings like the newer ones that handle about downtown views that's priced at 23 i'd say anywhere between 22 to 25 for the buildings that have handed over in the last three years so 2200 square foot yeah. to 2500 square foot yeah on average on average looking there nothing yeah. more nothing really less for the newer ones 
and then you add the address buildings yeah. and the Opera District, high, which yeah. Opera District is around three thousand, yeah. and then the address, which is Town Town, for example, that's four thousand five hundred. Is it yeah. square foot? Yeah, obviously it's serviced, it's that's furnished, etc. Yeah. yeah. But what nationalities are you going off viewing with at the moment? Oh, I'm a complete mix, to be honest. I've had a few locals. And that's Dubai for you, though, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, yeah. I, I don't think I could pinpoint it to a, a certain nationality. Yeah. I've got people from everywhere. Because I think people from everywhere are coming. So yeah. it's and also, downtown is more of an investor place. Yeah. So you don't get like the typical, oh, okay, everyone's moving here to move into apartments themselves. Mm. Like, a lot yeah. of my buyers at the moment, they're all cash investment. Yeah. So it's like... It's a lot of cash Any, anyone, and yeah, yeah, anyone that comes so in from Russia, China, all these places. Yeah. I'd say it's Russian, looking Chinese, to move. and European. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm... And most of them clients, are. they're looking to move. They're looking to relocate instead of... So the areas like the Bayer Hills and the Palm and stuff like that, yeah. that's where you'd probably see more of the... But at the moment, it's Asia, Middle yeah. East. Yeah. Absolutely everywhere. Yeah, nice. Um, new businesses at the moment. Just heard of one from... <laughs> A lady behind the camera who we will not to call put onto but... the camera. <laughs> Bob's Fish and Chips has opened up on the boulevard. Which Finally. Is, yeah, supposedly they've had the advertising off the last two, three years since yeah. COVID. Um, so that Patience sounds like a big, a big draw on the old delivery. <laughs> Anything else at the moment, food and beverage wise, so opening up? They're, they're honestly always building new things yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in the area. You know, shop fronts are always changing. Yeah. But I think. I mean, this is really simple, but my favourite restaurant in downtown is the Six Board Game Cafe. Okay. It's just really Tom's nice. in for the cheap date there, then, <laughs> yeah, isn't he? I actually, <laughs> that's not cheap, that place. It's, well, I went for coffee in there, yeah. I'm sure it was tasty, tasty or dinner. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. They do do some really good food there. You know, yeah. if you've just got a bit of time between viewings, or obviously if you're not an agent doing anything, yeah. it's just nice to pop in, have some food, play a little game. Just, yeah. yeah. Have a good yeah. time. Yeah, I love it there. But. Yeah, nice. So at the moment in downtown, it sounds like it's all going on. This is your first episode. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We are going to be doing this podcast every single month and giving you the community updates. Don't be shy to get in touch. If you've got a property, you're looking to move to the area, George and Lottie will be happy to assist. Of course. We will see you next month.